Hey friends, so the channel recently passed 80,000 subscribers and to celebrate, here's this amazing Seed to Stage producer giveaway contest where you can win all of these incredible tools to upgrade your music in your studio. You can click up here or in the description and comments to enter into the drawing. Now I'm a local to Asheville, North Carolina, which also happens to be the home of Moog synthesizers. They were kind enough to offer up the amazing Mother 32 synth as a grand prize in this contest, so I decided to create a video combining the power of Ableton CV tools and the legendary very deep and fat tones from the Mother 32. So in this video, we're going to extend the sound palette of the Mother 32 into realms you never thought possible with some clever tricks using CV Instrument, which is one of the many devices that you get with Ableton CV tools. Here's a preview of some of the wild sounds from this video that you can achieve with this crazy combo. <laughs> Now CV Tools is a collection of 10 Max for Live devices that you can use to interact with modular gear, such as the Mother 32. With this combo, we can take the best tones that Analog has to offer and combine them with the best that Ableton's digital processing can do for out of this world sound design. Now, of course, if you're gonna use CV Tools, you need to make sure that your audio interface is what's called DC coupled. Now, believe it or not, Sweetwater of all places made a handy web page where you can check to see if your audio interface is in fact DC coupled or if it's not. And chances are, after you watch this video, in case that your audio interface is not DC coupled, you're probably gonna wanna swap it out for one that is because this stuff is amazing. Anyway, let's check it out. Okay, so what you're looking at is my DC coupled interface, which happens to be the Motu Ultralight MK5. And I flipped it around so you can just see the inputs and outputs, because that's what we're going to be focusing on. And then, of course, the Mother 32. The completest in me wants to show you really quick how you would hook this up with MIDI. The, the Mother 32 conveniently has a MIDI input, and it's a pretty formidable MIDI to CV converter. Okay, so first thing I would do is I would plug in a 5-pin MIDI cable to the MIDI input and then the output of any audio interface that I want to use, right? Okay, so now when I launch Ableton's clock, we should be able to see the sequencer reacting to that. Right, boom, so we can see that. Now, of course, the next thing is we need to be able to hear the Mother 32, and the way that we're gonna do that is instead of using the quarter inch output on the back of the Mother 32, we're gonna be dealing with the patch bay. And so if you look at the patch bay, you can see that everything in white text is an input, and everything with black text with a white box around it is an output. Right, so they just kind of inverted that so you know what's an input and what's an output. The signal path of the Mother 32 goes from the oscillator to the filter to the VCA. And so you could think of this VCA output right here, see this top corner? You could think of that as the output. So I'll plug that in here and then I'll plug this into uh, input seven for now. Great. Now if I turn up the output here uh, and I make an audio track and I set it to input seven, which is what we're plugged into on the audio interface, set it to end, we should be able to hear, right? Now we can hear the Mother 32, right? Cool, that's simple enough. Now, there's a better way to do this. We're gonna go into instruments and choose external instrument. And then we're gonna choose, of course, the ultralight because the ultralight is the thing sending MIDI to the Mother 32. And then we're gonna choose the input from number seven. So now, of course I can hear the Mother 32, but I can also, I can play my MIDI keyboard and play the Mother 32 with it, right? And so that's that's all fine and good. Now with a standard hardware synthesizer that has MIDI, this is how you would normally hook it up. But what's cool about Ableton and CV tools is that you can actually, instead of doing it this way, you can open up the vast world of sound design with CV control over the patch bay parameters on any patch bay synthesizer, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the MIDI and we're gonna hook this up with CV tools instead, right? Okay, so I'm gonna delete this external instrument and we're gonna reach for my CV tools. Now CV tools, if you install it, it, it exists under your packs. So under CV tools, we're just gonna focus on one CV tools device and that is CV instrument. So CV instrument is an incredible, super deep device that a lot of people haven't explored to its fullest extent. So what CV instrument does is it takes MIDI input and spits out voltage from a DC coupled interface. It's really simple stuff. So I'm gonna grab a cable and I'm gonna say, okay, the pitch, the pitch information is this guy right here. So we're gonna choose output, let's choose output number three. And now on the output number three of my audio interface, I'm gonna plug that into the VCO volts per octave input. This is essentially where the volts per octave pitch goes. So I'm gonna plug that in there. And then we're gonna grab another cable 
And we also need to send the Mother32 events, okay? So when a note gets played, that's an event. And so we could think of that as a gate. So this is where we say, okay, happen, make something happen, <laughs> right? So external out, output number four. So now we'll choose output number four in my audio interface and plug it into the gate, bam. So now, now that I've got this all hooked up, the next thing I need to do is choose the input, right? That's coming in from the Mother32. And that happens to be what? number seven. So I'll choose external in, number seven. Bam. Now we can play notes and we can hear the Mother 32. So everything's set up thus far, except let me play from C to C. So this is C3, and then this is D. Uh-oh. <laughs> that sounds definitely strange. Well, why is that? That's because we haven't calibrated the synthesizer yet. What calibration does is it makes it so that this the MIDI information that's coming in to see the instrument will be scaled properly for the synthesizer, okay? Essentially, it makes so that your MIDI notes that you play are in tune, right? So we're going to hit calibrate, and it says plug an oscillator into the audio input. We've done that. Then it's going to say select the audio input you plug your oscillator into. Of course, we've done that. And then it's going to say select the pitch output, which we've done right here. So now we're going to hit next. And it says, adjust the pitch of your oscillator until the tuner turns green and says C3. If this was out of tune, right, I would have to tune this back up to C3. But now that it's in tune, I can hit next. And then it says, click the button below to begin calibration. Now, you can hear some modulation going on. We want to definitely turn that off, right? We want this to be as rock solid as possible. If you have any modulation going on, it's not going to calibrate well. Cool, so now we've got the modulation off. Let's go ahead and hit start and check this pleasing thing that it does out. <laughs> oh yeah. So we're gonna hit finish. Now, we can hear a perfectly in tune synthesizer, right? Okay, so you might be thinking at this point, dude, all right, well, great. You could have just done that with MIDI and you could have been off to the races, you know, doing whatever you want to do. Well, CV Instrument has the ability to extend the sonic palette of any synthesizer with a patch bay, any synthesizer, so long as you have inputs to various interesting functions. And so let's start talking about maybe what some of those interesting functions could be. So when you click on this button, boom. All of a sudden, you're presented with all kinds of new sources that you could send out of the interface into the synthesizer, right? Now, the scope of this specific video can't cover every single thing inside of CV Instrument or else we'd be here forever. And I cover CV Instrument in explicit detail in my Ableton courses, which you can check out up here. But we're going to focus on one feature that I think is unbelievably incredible, and that's the shaper. So the shaper, the first thing we need to do if we want to use any of these sources is we need to hook up the output. So the, first of all, the CV output is going to be an external output, right? My external output's up here. And then we're going to choose, let's go with number five. Okay, so now we're going to hook up number five. Now one thing that might be fun is to mess with the cutoff frequency of the filter. Classic, right? Let's go ahead and do that. So now when I play a note, we don't hear any modulation just yet. That's because the cutoff frequency is already pretty high, so I need to turn this down. And we can hear that fat, subby, delicious note that we got right there. Now, this is essentially, at this point, what is it? It's a, it's a sine wave LFO, right? And of course, we can increase or decrease the rate. And if we wanted this to go to the beat, let's go ahead and flip it over to this mode, which will sync the LFO at different uh, divisions of time. Let's maybe go with, I don't know, eighth. Now, of course, you've heard all of this before, and we haven't really done anything new. What I really feel like makes CV Instruments so amazing is this next mode. Now, what is this next mode? What it's saying here is that down here we have shaper FM ratio. Well, what's going on here is you can see a little tuning fork. What this does is this outputs audio rate modulation, okay? What is audio rate modulation? Well, essentially, it's outputting an actual note, okay? If we plug this into the external audio input and we turned up the external audio, take a listen. 
This is the output. You're listening to the output of this. Let's go ahead and choose a different waveform. Let's choose a saw. What this is doing is it's essentially turning CV instrument into an oscillator, okay? And so this oscillator can be used to modulate different things. I mean, one really basic thing we could do is use it as an oscillator and then blend it because I'm going into the external input here. We have a little mixer here, and this little mixer blends from the VCO inside of the Mother 32 to the external instrument. And so if I were to tune this down an, an octave by going to half, check it out. I'll make the filter totally manual. So now we can hear that. And of course we can go up too. We can go up to double, which will be an octave up. Right, pretty cool stuff. Now that's all fine and good, but what we really wanna do is we wanna get into audio rate modulation of different parameters that you can access in the patch bay. So what we're using is we're using a digital oscillator to change different parameters in the analog realm. And this is where things can get so cool. So let's, let's go ahead and start with uh, the VCA. And as I bring this back, you'll hear a little bit of sound come in. What that is is we're opening and closing the VCA at audio rates, right? But if I play a note, What you're listening to is essentially amplitude modulation or AM, right? And so if we choose different waveforms, we get different flavors of this. And of course we have an amp control or essentially the effect that this has uh, from zero to 100%. So at zero, of course we get this and now we can sweep it in. Now, if I change the wave shape though to something kind of crazy, let's try uh, let's try steps. Listen to those metallic tones that come in here. Whoa, <laughs> right? How crazy is that? Now, of course, you can fine tune this to get some weirder ratios. And now we hear some modulation happening, right? Cool, so you can explore some really interesting tones and timbres there. Now, my favorite thing to audio rate modulate <laughs> is the cutoff frequency, listen to this. So now we have the cutoff frequency, so it's moving, you know, ultra super fast at audio rate. Check this out. And now we're starting to get some vowel sounds, right? Some like guttural kind of sounds. Let's go ahead and try a different shape. Let's go ahead and try just your sine waveform, classic sine waveform. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now check this out. Let's go with this one called ratchet. Now, these wave shapes have different harmonic content. And of course, the sine waveform has all rounded edges, so lower harmonic content. When you have something like this, though, check this out. <laughs> we can make the Mother 32 talk to you. At this point, I really like the sound of the cutoff moving, right? So one thing I could do is I could turn up the VCF mod, right? And so that's this thing. And so now it's gonna take the envelope generated by this envelope generator and add it to the cutoff frequency. Now, another thing we could do is we could change how fast this waveform has an effect over the cutoff frequency. And so we can do that with this attack. So if I turn this up to a second, take a listen now. <laughs> Super crazy. All right, I'll turn that to zero. We can also use, I know I wasn't going to go over the envelopes, but real quick, if I wanted to use envelope two, I could say whatever design I have here, right? I could say, all right, it's going to take half a second to go up and then two seconds to go down. Take a listen to this. So what is this doing? It's essentially taking the envelope from envelope two and applying this wave shape to this input, okay? That's what's happening now. 
So you can draw your own wave shapes. You know, for example, I could go back to the sign and we could make something pretty wild. <laughs> I don't know, we'll make like a W here. You can change the grid so you can make it a little bit crazier. You can go all the way up to 16, so we could get really wacky with this if we wanted to. And what this is going to yield is more harmonics, which means we can use those harmonics to make different shapes, to make different modulated sounds, right? And so what this is allowing us to do is it's really allowing us to change how the Mother 32 sounds. And I should say something else. You can turn the resonance all the way up. And of course, on the legendary Moog ladder filter, it self oscillates when it's high enough. And so when you're doing these uh, cutoff modulations, what you're essentially doing is, is you are FMing, okay, or you're frequency modulating the filter's bass frequency. Take a listen to this. <laughs> so yeah, you can have a lot of fun with that. Now, I think the final thing that's worth mentioning, there's so much more to go over here, but the final thing worth mentioning at this point is that when you set up CV Instrument right, okay, what a lot of people don't realize is that you don't have to stop here. You have essentially inserted a actual physical analog synthesizer into Ableton's signal path. Right, so we've got this instrument, but we could add really interesting stuff to it. Maybe uh, one thing we could do is, I don't know, let's add a redux. All right, so... <laughs> further lending that uh, kind of vowel sound situation to it, right? Now, remember envelope two? We had that effect on envelope two. We could also send envelope two to the Redux. So we'll go to mapping. And on this page, you can map the envelopes that you have. So in this case, envelope two, we could map that to the rate. And let's go ahead and make it maybe, yeah, one and then a little bit higher. So now we get this. Let's make envelope two a little bit snappier. Now we'll turn the dry wet down a little bit. Another thing we can do is <laughs> let's go crazy. Let's uh, let's add an OTT to it. Turn this down a bit. <laughs> so just for the heck of it, let's keep going. One more thing, maybe we'll add a filter at the end to, to finalize our sound. And I can go back to the mapping. We could use envelope one for the filter cutoff. Right, <laughs> and so we can add a digital filter on the end of an analog filter with some digital effects on it, right? And so we've got a really interesting, crazy sound going on. Let's go ahead and switch the waveform. This is a totally different world, right? And again, because we have all this processing, if we change anything on the synthesizer itself, such as the modulation, let's see what this does. And so the end result that we have here is that we have a situation where we are extending the sound palette of the Mother 32 and Ableton, and we're kind of, Ableton and the Mother 32 are empowering each other to be the biggest possible sound, right? We've got all the advantages of analog here and all the advantages of digital over here coming together to create this monster sound, right? <laughs> Word, so I hope this video inspires you to get modular with your setup. As always, if you enjoy this kind of thing, subscribe and hit the bell so you know the next time I post a video. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.